Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, you will meet my dear friend. And I think you know him. It's so crazy to think that most of Taiwan's large cities He loves Taiwan. Welcome back to Dajia Mazu. The best time in Taiwan is finally here. He loves food. And he loves shooting videos. <laughs> this place is good and it's got lots of... You guessed right. He's my dear friend, Logan Beck. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Legend of YouTube. <laughs> not quite, not, not quite, but one thank of you. The, one of the... That is flattering. Yeah, <laughs> one of the legend of YouTube, Logan Beck. With the other legend of of just gloriness right here. Ooh, really good to see you, man. Yes. It all comes back to when I first moved here. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't have any sort of kind of like working visa or anything because I moved here abruptly for my wife, we, um, whatnot. So when I got here, I just had a ton of camera equipment, didn't have much money, and. Number one is I knew if I started YouTube, there's a chance, a possibility of finding a career because at the time I couldn't find any other job. On the other hand, I started to randomly film videos to show my family and friends back at home, which I uploaded on YouTube. And it so happened that my first video got 5,000 views overnight and it was just Whoa. the dinkiest little video. It was just like people playing basketball, some, some Taiwanese breakfast getting flipped around. It was really dinky and I realized at that moment there was a chance for me to put my passion, filmmaking and introducing things, and turn it into a chance to have an income and a job for my family here in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. Let's not talk about this, <laughs> but a good amount. I mean, recently, like, so this is my setup, except for I don't have my mic on, and mm -hmm. um, if you look right here, there's red, and that is from the Yen Shui Feng Pao. Really? Yeah, I know. But, so there's red from right here, but if you notice, it's a different lens because that same event, a firecracker went and destroyed and, uh, this lens. So I mean, I do uh, a lot of money. I do spend a good amount of money, but it's but it makes the content beautiful. And to me, I believe I should. I like to capture images that can last forever, that can become beautiful. So it's a good way of reporting and journalism for me. Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. Um, so back to how I began though, my very first year of YouTube. And keep in mind, I think in the bank, when I came to Taiwan, I had a Wuang Kwai and I had a family. Mm -hmm. So I had to go one whole year without any income because YouTube didn't pay me any income the first whole year. And then on the start of the second year, I made Yi Wang Kwai the second year. Mm -hmm. It was after that. So really, I mean, if I suddenly made a whole ton of money right now, Cool, but you need to remember my first two years, even three years, I made barely anything. Because sometimes so it's a sacrifice. It's a <laughs> toads. It, yeah. It's those. It's sometimes people think that every YouTube channel, everybody makes money. It's not that easy. You know the equipment we just mentioned. Yeah. I mean, we have to spend money. We have to spend a lot of time for shooting. Also, your editing. Yep. It's a tough. It's a tough work. Yes. My biggest suggestion is don't do it for the money, obviously. Yeah. Um, because if you don't enjoy what you're doing, people will see you right through the lens mm -hmm. and they'll be able to see it. Obviously, follow your passion. So if you don't want to do YouTube, do something related to what you like. Another thing is just have diligence. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, I went the first few years without anything. I mean, I had views coming, but I didn't have any money because I couldn't get income from it. Yeah, this is important. So just diligence, follow your passion, and um, just be genuine. funnest thing is Daja Mazu. <laughs> da ja ma for me, and now it's that it's turned into a, my, like a channel chuan tong. Mm -hmm. People come every year to my channel to watch Daja Mazu. This is gonna be my sixth year, I believe. Yeah. Sixth year uh, filming it. So every single year I like to do something new, a different angle, but it's always fun and it's exciting and it's just extremely unique to Taiwan. For me, filming food's a great way to introduce the culture, the language, the love, the attitudes, just everything about the Taiwanese people in every single different area has a different set of cuisine. Um, another reason is I've recently started to learn how to cook. 
So now I enjoy eating food a lot more because I can understand the culinary process and how they manage to make the taste so abundant that way, spicy, whatnot. So I actually like love food right now. I can, I'm I a can food tell. connoisseur. I, I can I can <laughs> tell. I can feel the passion of Yeah. I mean And and you. and I love to eat. I am a chihuahua. I just yeah, like <laughs> One of these, I hopefully at the end of the year, I want to do. It's called the KOM challenge. I've been there. I've been there. Okay, yeah. So they TV, start from Hualien. Yeah. Well, but this time I want to do from Jianghua City, all the way up through Hehuanshan. Oh, you're gonna to, make a double KOM. Yeah, oh yeah. Not the normal double KOM. Yeah. From Jianghua <laughs> City all the way up. So that's good. Yeah. I mean, I did with the TV TV crew. It's good, and yeah. if you do it, I will definitely watch it. Yes. Thank you. So I'm doing a thing where I go around to different cities, it uh, doesn't matter if they're rural, populous cities, sharing their cuisine. So recently I did a, a, a Yuanlin, I did a Kaohsiung, the... What's the name? Kaohsiung... What's the name? This city right here! This city! <laughs> this city. Um, it's where Cole lives. And um, I want to go around to more rural areas to really show people that that little city has a unique attribute that it can give to the world and to Taiwan which is through their food and cuisine. Can I feel that some, uh, you will get a telephone call from TLC, TLC soon? Please. I think that, are, are they watching? Please. I think that they are watching. Hopefully. Yeah, if Please. they are looking for a host. Is it recording? Uh, yeah, yeah, they are watching. Okay. They are watching. The TLC guys are watching. What do you want to say to them? TLC. This is the guy you are looking for. I've got for. some fun show ideas that yeah. we should make. So Why not? Ding, 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 Your ding. English is good. Why not? You it should be it. good. <laughs> it should be good. Okay, thank you very much. I mean, you shared many stories. I mean, we can talk a lot. Oh, yeah. We can talk a lot, but next video. Okay. No problem. There's always more opportunities. I mean, I want to say that we'll please uh, subscribe. You all have already, how many, how many how many subscribers you have already? Five, Five, almost 510. 500,000. Yeah. Okay, subscribe his channel. <laughs> Let's and get a million. <laughs> Let's get a million. And this make my channel 500,000. Yeah, I will be very happy. And at the end of video, I want to show you how to make my new channel. The song is the song of the song. This song is the song. Now you can start to make it. Because in this song, I want to show you, teach you, many parents can understand how to do the song in the home. The song is the song. One way to make the child happy is to learn English. One way to make the child happy is to learn the language. You can see, our Chinese is very good. English is also good. All of the languages can be said. I hope. 所有的父母们也可以了解这个双语的概念。在我的课程中，我针对很多不同的年龄提供很多不同的呃诀窍，一定会帮助到你们。而且呢，不用担心你们的英文不好，所有的朋友们，英文不好的朋友也可以跟得上。报名时间已经开始了，母子期开始了，现在最划算，赶快来报名。我们下次见，拜拜。如果你跟我一样是父母亲。想与孩子一起学习成长，或者你在准备未来，想要把握双语带来的好处，不用等待大环境改变，现在可以跟着我一起加入五凤的双语教养课，在家培养孩子双语能力与学习兴趣，我在等你哦。